Welcome back guys. We are currently in uh, Bar X Ranch in um, North Dakota. Uh, it's just outside the town of Medora. But today what we're going to do is we're concentrating on telling the story of Medora. Now to tell that story, we actually have to go back in time into the 1800s. So let's go. We are on the way. Our story starts in 1883 when a young Frenchman met and married an American citizen, Medora Hoffman, and they relocated from France to North Dakota. At the same time, a young American decided that he would travel back to places that he visited when he was a child, and that person was Theodore Roosevelt. And the young Frenchman, the Marquis de Moors, and Theodore Roosevelt became fast friends in North Dakota. And their story is what we're going to tell you to start it off. Now, Teddy Roosevelt, or Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, he had a vision of running cattle in the North Dakota Badlands. And this is the lands that they were looking at. Now he got, he secured himself about 8,000 acres, uh, 4,000 north of here and 4,000 south of here to run his cattle. And he had about 1,000 head of cattle running on that land. The Count de Moor had larger visions. So he was running cattle in this area and he was going to build, oh, he actually did build an abattoir so that he could run the cattle, slaughter the cattle, put them on the, into the railhead and send them east. He developed refrigerated rail cars. His operation began in 1883. He started off, he built a lodge, a 26 room lodge, which is in Medora. He established the town Medora and he called the town after his wife Medora. And he did this all within the space of six months. His family lived in the cabin, 26 room cabin, for only six months. And then in winter, they would return to France. Over time, the cabin, 26 room, became a hunting lodge. So Roosevelt being an avid hunter, this is how he and the Marquis de Moor actually met and became friends. Roosevelt also hosted the Marquis in New York in his home. And the Theodore Roosevelt was using the Count's library as his own personal library and was borrowing books and things like that from him. And this friendship continued for the next three years. At the height of his operation, there was about 100 people a month coming into Medora to work in the area. Now, Teddy Roosevelt, he was known as one of the Rough Riders, and there is still a historic building in Medora, which is on the other side of the ridge there, which is the Rough Riders Motel or Hotel, and it's still standing today. Now, the friendship between the uh, Count de Moor and Teddy Roosevelt, as I said, continued for a number of years until there was a particularly harsh winter in the, the winter of um, 1886 and Teddy Roosevelt lost most of his cattle and his business went bust and the Count de Moor also lost most of his cattle and his business also went bust. Now as part of the Marquis um, business enterprises in North Dakota with his farming um, and raising of cattle uh, he placed fences throughout around his um, farmland. Now this upset some of the other local ranchers and a gunfight um, took place over this uh, and the Marquis ended up shooting and killing one of the other ranchers. This ended up in a court battle so the Count was actually tried for murder and he was tried on three separate occasions. Finally, uh, having extricated himself from those problems, uh, he and his family returned to France. But of course, the Marquis 
wanted to investigate other investment opportunities. So the Marquis went to South Africa. Now because of his political connections and outspokenness, uh, it resulted in him being murdered himself at the age of 38 in South Africa. And that's pretty much the end of the story of the Marquis. Now, Theodore Roosevelt, of course, went on to become the 26th president of the United States. And right next to the town of Mindora, there is the Teddy Roosevelt or the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And that, you would think, would be the end of the town of Medora. But the, the story continues and it returns in the 50s, 1950s, with a new character to take the lead of this story. All right, so now the story of Medora needs to wind forward 70 years into the 1950s. That's when the town had fallen into uh, disrepair. There was only about 100 people left in the town after it being about 3,500 people previously. And Harold Schaefer uh, came onto the scene. Now he visited Medora with a friend and the friend said to him, oh, I'd, I'd like to um, buy the hotel, which is the Rough Rider Hotel, which was almost derelict. Now, Harold Schaefer was an extremely generous, hard-working, but extremely generous um, man. And uh, he thought about this, and he went and he purchased the Rough Rider Hotel, and he gave the title deed to his friend. So the friend went to the uh, government and said, look, I'd like to get a grant to fix up this historic building. Uh, it's, it's, it's of intrinsic value. And the government said, no. So the friend went back with the title deed to uh, Harold and said, no, I don't want it anymore and gave it back. So over uh, the next year or so, Harold was like, what am I going to do with this? And finally he decided, well, I'm going to restore it myself and try and get some of my money back. And he restored the Rough Rider to its former glory. Now, the town was still um, basically depleting people. And over the next few years, Harold ended up helping out a lot of people by purchasing their properties from them to help them out and he ended up owning about 75% of the town. Now, Sheila was Harold's wife, and Sheila was uh, involved in the arts and thought, maybe we could do something here to make the town a bit of a tourist attraction. And I'll cover that one off next. Now, Harold, he was a businessman. He was a salesman. He spent much of his life running a company selling furniture polish. And that's where he made most of his money. But generous to the boot. He purchased the land, he installed an auditorium, and his wife and he set up the Medora Musical. Now that happened in 1975. Now the Medora Musical continues today, six nights a week. It's currently got a uh, troupe from uh, New York who is putting on the musical at the moment. So uh, his legacy lives on. Now our story comes to the present day. So today Medora is a town for tourists to come and visit. They come from all around the world. They come from locally as well. There is the uh, pitchfork fondue steak, which basically is steaks which are deep fried on the end of pitchforks. There's the Medora Musical, which runs six nights a week. Right next to Medora is the, the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Um, the National Park has uh, all sorts of wildlife in there. It's got prairie dogs, buffalo, rattlesnakes. The town itself has got many historic buildings which are still there and are free to go through. If you do get an opportunity and you're in North Dakota and you see Medora on your travels, turn off the highway and come and spend at least a day in Medora. You won't regret it. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.